guys, thanks for watching this video. And today I want to talk a little bit about why you are getting so much spam from recruiters, which can be very, very annoying and seemingly pointless, right? Why, why is this person taking the time to spam you with these messages of job descriptions and questions and catch up requests and all these sorts of things, right? So you've probably even got this from multiple recruiters. Right? If, if you have gone out and uh, registered your name or taken the time to meet with a recruitment agency, an external recruitment agency, you probably get these really annoying messages. So the very, very simple answer um, is it goes back to the incentives, right? So how are, uh, how are recruiters incentivized? And in a perfect world, recruiters would be incentivized by providing a really good experience to a job seeker and helping them find the best jobs and treating them politely and giving them feedback and all these sorts of things. But unfortunately, that's not how the world works. And it's not really their fault. It comes down to the system. And many recruitment companies are incentivized by the wrong things. So what do I mean by that? So basically, when you look inside of a recruitment company, or not all recruitment companies, but many of them, they, they have targets on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, a yearly basis, and those targets are not necessarily help 10 people find a job, right? The, that's not necessarily the uh, the immediate goal. That That's a goal in, in three months or six months, but on a day-to-day -day basis, that's not the incentive. So what is it? So the incentive is how many emails can you send? How many phone calls can you make? And how many resumes can you get out the door? So recruiters are incentivized by a large amount of volume. And if their boss is like standing there breathing over their neck saying, hey, John, you need to send 100 emails or you need to tell 100 people about this job or you need to make 100 phone calls, then they're probably going to resort to spamming people. So I think um, Sometimes it works, usually it doesn't. Oftentimes it pisses people off, but uh, it's been a recruitment, a traditional recruitment technique for quite a long time. And I think many companies realize that's not working and they have to take a more brand building, relationship driven approach. But there's still a lot of companies that do do that. So when you do see those spam messages, don't don't get too pissed off at the recruiter. Don't don't get frustrated and, and start swearing at them and, and, and you know calling them ugly names. Just remember that you know they have these certain incentives and they're people too. And, Really, what what the thing the right thing to do would be is, is to reply to them, ask them for a phone call, catch up with them, see how they're doing. Um, maybe there is a job opportunity that they could provide, or just politely tell them, "Sorry, John, I'm not interested in this job right now, but thanks for getting in touch, and um, I will let you know if I'm looking for jobs in the future." So, hope this was uh, slightly um, helpful, or uh, at least helped clarify some of the reasons you're getting these spam messages, and um, hopefully it's not too mysterious for you anymore. So, thanks for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time.